Hi everyone, as you already understood from the title, today we are going to discuss all the love couples in the Naruto and Boruto anime. Despite the fact that this is a rather simple topic, I have a lot to tell you. Enjoy watching. Minato and Kushina The backstory of Minato and Kushina was cute and made us understand their relationship better. They clearly loved each other and it was very interesting to watch their family. And the main reason to adore this couple is that thanks to them Naruto was born. <laughs> Temari and Shikamaru They have quite a good mutual relationship with each other and are one of the few canonical couples that really make sense. They had a good connection and felt natural with each other. Regardless, I'm not sure if that is what Shikamaru was dreaming about. He dreamed of living a peaceful life with a normal wife and daughter. Alas, that wasn't meant to be. He was always unlucky with ordinary girls in his life. He fought with only girls throughout the whole Naruto's history. Basically, if Kim and Tayuya had stayed alive, Shikamaru might have created himself a small harem. Shikamaru thought girls were boring, but he ended up marrying a girl who he thought was boring. <laughs> <laughs> Yahiko and Conan. We've only seen them together in flashbacks. Honestly, it would have been really cool to see them again, for example in some kind of spin-off. From what we were shown, it was clear that Conan was very much in love with Yahiko. <laughs> Sakura. Sasuke and Sakura. Their relationship was developing really hard. Despite the fact that Sasuke seemed to really love Sakura, he never showed it. He constantly insulted and even tried to kill her. Sakura's crush on Sasuke seemed pretty unhealthy to me, considering the fact that he tried to kill her twice. Even now we can barely see the contact between them and sometimes it seems that Sasuke still hasn't gotten over Itachi's death and because of that he still can't fully fall for Sakura. No one has ever mentioned this before, so now I think it's just necessary to tell you about it. Fugaku and Mikoto this is one example of a perfect marriage. Pure trust, loyalty, understanding and love. Just try to imagine the conversation between Fugaku and Mikoto as they quietly waited for their 13-year-old son who came to kill them. So they somehow managed to come to an agreement with each other. I think this is a perfect example of trust in a couple. Naruto and Sakura. There was, after all, the possibility that they would end up together. However, some people are still arguing and there are two huge groups of fans. They are divided into Naru Saku and Sasu Saku fans. An annoying and opinionated girl and a straightforward but determined guy. They are not a bad complement to each other, as you must agree. In addition, Sasuke has been shown to be a bit of a jerk. Naruto saved her twice, while Sasuke nearly killed her twice. I think a lot of people agree that Naruto needed someone who could discipline him. Hinata's soft character clearly isn't capable of that. Naruto and Hinata. Sure, they were pretty nice to each other. And Hinata always cared about him, but they still had a lot of flaws as a couple. Like Sasuke, Naruto never showed any interest in Hinata. Neji died so that we could have a reason to accept Naruto and Hinata's wedding. Even when Hinata confessed her feelings for Naruto during Pain's arc, Naruto still ignored her and was focused on Sasuke. I'm not in any way trying to judge or insult this couple, but you have to agree, there's very little chemistry in their relationship. However, it didn't stop them from developing their relationship and eventually getting married. By the way, there was one more person who could compete with Naruto and Sasuke for Sakura. And that person was Rock Lee, Tsunade and Jiraiya. A lot of people talk about how their relationship can't be just friendly. There's definitely something more about them. Just look at the way Jiraiya looks at her huge eyes. Isn't that cute? <laughs> Sai and Ino. This couple is quite questionable and many will agree with me. The reason is very simple. Their couple is a little weird. Ino married Sai because of his appearance, but later she really fell in love with him. 
Moreover, if Sasuke tries to completely hide his feelings, Sai on the other hand hides his feelings with help of his smile. So you can tell if he's sincere in his feelings or not. <laughs> Choji and Karui. Wait, what? Well, I'm sure no one was expecting this at all. They had absolutely zero interaction with each other. And honestly, I sometimes feel like they ended up together just so Choji wouldn't stand out from his peers and could start a family with someone. Obito and Rin. I really liked Obito's character. He was in love with Rin, but Rin loved Kakashi, basically the same love triangle we have seen so many times. In the end, Obito started the war alone. It was a true love that eventually turned into madness. Madara, Mito and Hashirama. It's a love triangle in every way. Mito loves her husband, but she also loved Madara. All in all, this is a very good ground for creating different fanfics. Naruto and Sasuke. No comments. Boruto and Sarada. All I can say is that they are destined to be together. Unlike the others, Boruto and Sarada have some chemistry in their relationship. No one cancelled the sequel Boruto Soroto Next Generation. True fans have already released their own Soroto manga and it looks like fun. Saita. Yeah. 